the media is an incredibly powerful tool. In fact, the only tool that is needed to completely control the masses. They use media blitzes every day on various nonsense, whatever agenda they're trying to push, even saying Biden is president. Apparently, that's technically not official, but every single news outlet was pushing that story, so they create the truth. We even saw this a few months back with meat processing plants getting shut down. It becomes incredibly obvious that the script is written and these media outlets are shaping the minds of the public, preparing them for what's to come. In this case, I couldn't overlook a dozen articles speculating what happens if the president dies. And before I saw these articles, some people were theorizing they would off Biden so Harris could take its place. I guess those people were onto something. And I refer to Biden as it because these freakazoids in charge are definitely not human. They certainly don't act human. But seeing all these stories in the media made it more likely in my mind that they're preparing the public through this predictive programming for this to actually happen. And again, I don't know if Biden is technically the official president. You know, I was assuming there was going to be a lot more back and forth, create more chaos. But let's take it at face value right now that he is. Uh, one interesting thing is gematria, which is a system of assigning numeric values to letters. Joe Biden means end prophecy and Kamala Harris means second coming. And I mean, this is way too scripted out. You know, if I was going to off someone and prophecy sounds about right and Kamala Harris comes in the second coming, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's so obvious. And this isn't something new and recent. You know, there was an article dated May 16th where this speculation first started. What happens if a U.S. presidential candidate dies before the election or inauguration? Joshua Tucker. Let's work backward in time. What happens if the election's winner either dies or withdraws after Congress has countered the Electoral College's votes in January, but before the president-elect assumes office? Richard Pildes. The first half of this question is easy. If a president-elect dies before assuming office, the Constitution's 20th Amendment resolves this problem directly. The vice president-elect becomes president. With respect to the second half of your question, I have a hard time envisioning a president-elect withdrawing between January 6, 2021, when Congress counts the electoral vote, and January 20th, when the president-elect is to assume office. Any president who wanted to withdraw in that window would presumably wait until the inauguration and withdraw after being sworn in, at which point the vice president would, of course, become president. Isn't that an oddly specific question, asking what happens if the winner dies after they're elected but before they assume office? And the next question this guy asks makes it even more conspicuous. JT, what if this happens after the Electoral College has voted in December, but before Congress formally has received and counted these votes? RP, the 20th Amendment does also provide, though, that if the president shall not have been chosen before the time fixed for the beginning of his term, then the vice president-elect should act as president until a president shall have qualified. Once Congress counts the vote for the vice president and determines who has been elected to that office, that person becomes the vice president-elect and would then, under this provision, become the president until a president shall have qualified such as by the House vote. Do you guys find this odd, especially considering the date of this article? He's literally asking the hypothetical scenario we have now. What happens if Biden is incapacitated or deceased before the votes are officially counted? But then it gets even more specific. JT, what if the winner of the November election dies or withdraws before the Electoral College meets in December? RP, as a practical matter, if the parties have been vigilant, the electors should be extremely loyal to their political party. Even if the electors are formally bound by state law to vote for the dead candidate, I would expect them to cast their presidential vote for the vice presidential nominee of that party. So why was this guy asking these questions six months ago? There's been a lot of deceit and disinformation throughout this year especially, but this could very well be something that pans out. It's a perfect setup. Most people know that Biden has dementia, is in poor health, it's old, 
so people wouldn't be surprised when it disappears. What happens to the US presidential election if a candidate dies or becomes incapacitated? The White House is lit before dawn after US President Donald Trump announced that he and US First Lady Melania Trump have both tested positive for the you know what. Trump has mild symptoms, according to White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, but the diagnosis less than five weeks before the November 3rd election has raised questions about what happens if a presidential candidate or the president-elect dies or becomes incapacitated. It seems like this whole Trump getting sick scheme could be part of the predictive programming. Get the public ready for the acceptance of a president becoming incapacitated or dying incapable of serving office. So the media blitz in early October was related to Trump. And this more recent one in the past several days focuses that same idea on Biden. They even spelled it out in an article. Editorial, Trump's infection spotlighted a problem. What happens if a president-elect dies? And all of these articles point to the same solution. The most likely scenario, however, is that under the 20th Amendment governing presidential succession, the mantle would fall on the newly elected vice president's shoulders. They really are trying to paint this very clearly. The presidents are old, it's very likely they won't last much longer, and the vice president Harris is who they want. It may seem morbid, but given that Biden, at 77, will be the oldest president-elect in history and is running in the midst of a pandemic. It's worth clarifying what would happen if he dies before taking office. If Biden were to die before December's Electoral College vote, the DNC would have the ability to name a replacement candidate and pressure the electors currently committed to Biden to support them instead. Presumably, although not necessarily, the new candidate would be Biden's vice president, Kamala Harris. And of course, there are several articles pushing that exact same narrative. U.S. election 2020. What happens if a president-elect dies? It's extremely unlikely to happen to Biden, but at 77, he's also contending with a pandemic and a fiercely divided electorate, so nothing is impossible. Of course, none of this matters because we know everyone is a puppet and simply trying to steer the masses in the direction of a socialist, communist, globalist, whatever you want to call it, nonsense world. However, pointing this out is very important to expose their planning and scripting of these events, therefore exposing what they do. And the gematria we mentioned earlier is very relevant. There's probably numeric coding and things I didn't identify in each of these articles because I don't know it. But there are certainly easier examples of dramatria to point out to the average person, hidden in plain sight, the symbolism. We know what their end goal is. We have a fairly accurate list of bullet points of things they're going to do in order to get to that end goal. It's just, you know, somewhat interesting to see how it pans out and, you know, with the time frame given, we don't expect everything to happen suddenly, but since it is supposed to happen over the course of you know, four or five years, things are definitely moving. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Let me know how you like this video. If you could please leave me a comment down below, drop a like on the video, share this on social media. Let me know if you want me to do a video on you know, if Biden is officially president. I don't know the logistics of that and, and that type of stuff. It doesn't really matter. All that would do is basically point out how they're trying to incite more chaos. You know, who knows how much they're going to flip flop? Who knows if that's what they're going with? I don't know. But uh, I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.